What's happening guys, Blue Army HD here and welcome back to another For Honor How to Play guide. Today we'll be taking a look at the Warden. Uh, this is my playstyle of the Warden. Everybody's again is different playstyles. A lot of people are either more defensive, more offensive, or in the middle. This Remember this is just my playstyle. So for me there's not much that goes into uh, playing the Warden that's difficult. He or she, depending on if you have a male or female character, fairly easy to learn but hard to master the warden first thing we want to take a look at is the generic moveset in game that's listed by ubisoft for the warden you got your r1 r1 r2 r1 r2 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 just generic stuff it's not a big list but that's what uh the generic uh, moveset is of the warden for me in online play a lot of that stuff doesn't work like doing two R1s and then the R2 that barely ever works unless you're versing a very low skill level opponent for me a lot of the stuff that will work with the warden is your top light as that's your warden's fastest move barring the zone attack which is almost just as fast so you want to mix those mix those in uh, you don't want to just keep throwing out your zone as it drains almost all of your stamina so you want to just throw that in here and there and the top light every now and then as you can see it's fast but a lot of the times if you're just holding the guard your opponent's gonna expect it coming so you want to just switch around your guard stance here and there and then there's the double-sided uh, light attack of the warden so either side left or right once you land the first uh, first light attack you want to immediately press R1 again and it'll send out another light attack that's unblockable by your opponent so you pretty much land two light attacks at once. So keep those in mind that uh, those are the warden's best things. The top light, zone, and then the double, uh, double slash. Now you want to combine all that with the warden's best move that he's got the shoulder bash so there's many different ways of using using the shoulder bash um, there's ways where you can just spam it hit the double light and then just click square so yeah that's how you do the shoulder bash as well there's two ways to actually do it either you throw out a light the light attack doesn't have to land even if you miss the light attack you can go into a shoulder bash by uh, clicking the guard break button so if you throw a light shoulder bash and then you could also go into a shoulder bash by uh, dodging either left or right and then clicking the sh uh, guard break button as well with the shoulder bash you can charge up the shoulder bash by uh, holding on to the guard break button so the longer you hold it on the more he charges and if you get a full if you are lucky enough to get a full charge up you're uh, you get a free heavy attack uh, I'd like I try and go for the top heavy as that's the uh, warden's most damaging move usually I always mess it up and hit the side but if you can if you're quick enough uh, you want to get that full charge off and if it lands go for the top heavy as I can't get seem to get it going there but um, that's going to be your best friend the warden shoulder bash you want to try and do mix ups with the shoulder bash so let's say I do the top light go to the shoulder bash uh, I'll do the side lights double up you don't want to just keep doing this you'll become very predictable your opponent will end up just dashing out of the way dashing out of the way for your shoulder bash so you want to mix in guard breaks from your shoulder bash so let's say i do a double light and I do another double light off the shoulder bash and i want i want to just do a guard break afterwards because a lot of the times it's just a mix-up game with the warden if you're good enough to know where your opponent's gonna go if, if he's gonna dash if he's just gonna stand there you'll be able to just do devastating damage so if i do a top and i go into the shoulder bash the way to um, guard break your opponent is you go into the shoulder bash just spam that square button so let's say you hit that light go to that shoulder bash animation just spam squares so then he'll just go into that guard break so you don't want to just as well just keep going into the guard break as your opponent like i said will just either just stand there and then just counter guard break you so you want to try and mix that up with uh with a regular shoulder bash to get the two lights off so that's what makes the warden easy to play but hard to master because you gotta do a lot of mix-ups you don't want to just keep throwing out the same combo and then you'll start to get easier to read uh, with the shoulder bash as well what i like to do when i'm versus this is mainly when i'm only versing assassins because their um dashing is superior to pretty much every other class because duh they're assassins 
is I like to cancel the guard break. So let's say I throw out a light, I want to cancel the guard break. So you could cancel it even while you're charging it up. And cancel it, you just click um, circle on PlayStation, not sure what it is on Xbox. So let's say I throw out a light, and then I want to just cancel it. A lot of the times, an assassin character will either dash and do their little spinning attacks, or they'll just stand there. So if they just stand there, that's fine. It doesn't you doesn't harm you or anything. But if they do spin, you'll be in line to uh, do a parry. So let's say I'm going to do it. I'm going to go cancel it. And then you'll be in line to do a parry on the side they're doing it. Or you'll just block uh, get a block off instead of them just spinning and getting a free attack on you. So with all that said, there's not much else to the warden. She's got, or he or she's got basic attacks, the light fast, side lights, and then the zone, you want to mix that in every now and then. It's just getting to use that shoulder bash is what you want to get good at, is when to use it, when not to use it, when to cancel it, and how to read your opponent. Once you get really good at that, there's not many characters in the game that can stand up to you as warden is a top tier character. So... I know that's uh, kind of confusing, it may be kind of confusing, so hopefully going into this gameplay that will be coming up right, right now, uh, it'll kind of mix everything together with all these combos I like to do. Oh, I almost forgot another combo, sometimes if you can't open up your opponent, he's a turtle, what you want to do is faint. So if you throw out a heavy attack, you just click uh, circle again that's on PlayStation, I'm not sure what it is on Xbox, but that will cancel your attack out, and a lot of the times if there are if they like to go for parries, they'll either go for a parry. So what I like to do is I like to throw out the top um, top heavy, faint it, and then go into the uh, light light attack because it's really quick and it comes right right after really quickly. Also, I, I like to do that to try and open my opponent or open my opponent up and then just go back into your normal shield bash combo. So hopefully this video will help and make sure to stay tuned for the gameplay as it'll tie everything that I'm saying together and it'll make a little bit more sense to actually watch me play Warden and uh, I guess actual live competition instead of just this bot and just talking about it. So hopefully this uh, helps and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.